Welcome to Rona 360. This is our breaking news. The Kumasi Traditional Council has just organized a press conference to announce and brief Ghanaians on how the council is preparing a special welcoming ceremony for Asante Hene Otunfo Osei Tutu. So we all know that Otunfo Osei Tutu Asante Mayura was invited to the coronation ceremony in Buckingham Palace to be part of the historic event in UK. He has spent some few days there. It has been news and a lot of people have talked about it, the positive and the negative. We are not interested in that. We are interested in promoting our culture. So, just this afternoon, barely an hour ago, the Kumasi Traditional Council has organized a press conference to brief Ghanaians on a special welcome ceremony that they have, you know, made in place to welcome Asantehene Otunfo Osetutu from a strip. Now, Bafo Ousu Amankwetia, the feet who is the Bantamahene and the acting president of the Kumasi Traditional Council, announced that as part of the activities to welcome Otunfo back, he will be paraded through some principal streets in Kumasi to create the opportunity for the people to honor and welcome and praise the king for raising the image of Ghana and Asantemai on the international map. Now, he advised that people should not rush to the airport because of the construction work that is going on at the airport and because of the little space at the Kumasi airport in his words he said we are so proud of the king's achievement and we need to recognize him in a unique way from his trip back from london now this is going to be somehow a little bit unique from the the usual way that the traditional council organizes to welcome asante Hine each time he travels so what is of interest to rona 360 we are interested in showcasing and promoting art education culture and tv now what is of interest to us is the fact that for the first time a traditional council even though we know most traditional council organizes uh, uh, press briefings but for this first time a traditional council has organized a press briefing and they want to do more than what they usually do for their king and for us this is a great news this is a good news for our art and culture industry because we are gradually becoming conscious on how and why we need to uplift the image of our existence as Ghanaian and black people for me the highlight of the press briefing was when one of the sub chiefs who was sitting next to Bante Mahine gave credits and recognized the work bloggers and media can do in shaping and having a positive view to promote our culture and in its worst we are so happy and we are so glad that when we called on you bloggers and media men you came because we know that you can help extend this message further for all Ghanaians to hear and this is a mark of our traditional system Recognizing the role young and old people in the media space can play to shape and paint a positive image about our, our chieftaincy and about our culture. One of the highlights again of the meeting is how everybody who came was in the traditional cloth. And they were not all in the same cloth. They all came in their unique, distinct, beautiful Ghanaian traditional cloth, well-dressed and beautifully seated in an organized manner for us at rona 360 we are happy because this shows that our traditional system our chieftaincies can be improved just as the uk's have done this and is so beautiful to behold because the king in the uk is virtually the, the, the same as the kings or chiefs in our country their chiefdom or their kingship is the same as the chieftaincy practices that 
we do here just that they have taken dx to the next level with proper media hyping with proper you know pr and then all that and so we are very happy that the traditional council has done this by announcing to the entire country by announcing to asante mine that this is what they want to do to anna their king who is reporting it is our hope enjoy that other kings or other chiefs in every part of ghana irrespective of how small or big they are when they had the opportunity to travel outside the country or they go even outside their chiefdom to perform any duty that brings glory or honor to the people they rule over this thing should be done so that together it promotes together it encourages together it sells the traditional system it sells and promotes art and the art market because now for those who will be asking why am i so happy and so enthused about this and i'm even doing a breaking news guess what because of this ceremony everybody who does not have a white cloth is going to buy a white cloth to wear it because the announcement was that to welcome the king home they want everybody to be in a white cloth or a white dress now tailors or seamstress in kumase are going to be busy from this time round till tomorrow morning those who now want to sew special customized cloth for the arrival of the king are going to employ seamstress and fashion designers to do that this is a boost to the fashion and creative industry guess what the, this arrival that has been organized in a very special way it's not even going to promote only the creative industry it will transcend to the food and tourism industry because because of its arrival bloggers newsmen from ghana and outside ghana would want to see how this special arrival or welcome ceremony Will be organized so they are going to travel from the length and breadth of this world to go to kumasi and be part of this historic event this is what rona 360 is about this is what we we are so passionate about that if you are able to promote our arts the art industry our cultural industry our culture it can create an enabling environment for peace socio-economic development to thrive in our country this is what we have for you we are happy for this news we will definitely try our best to be there to be part of this historic event so that we bring you all the feedback if you have not subscribed to the page kindly do so and let's grow together thank you and god be with you you'll meet one more time again bye